Back in my day, Cadillacs were 35 feet long and cost two nickels. <clears throat> Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today we are in a 2013 Cadillac SRX. Uh, okay, so this is Cadillac's mid-sized SUV. Um, it's not as big as the Escalade, but obviously it's an SUV. It has a raised suspension and that sort of thing. Um, so sitting up front is a 3.6 liter V6. Um, not exactly sure about the horsepower. Underneath the car, uh, we have a six speed automatic gearbox, but you can do the plus minus crap. Um, there's a Maserati to my right and it is beautiful zero to 60 from what I read is actually about uh, seven three which isn't bad considering that this is an old person car <laughs> Actually squealed the tires. So it does have sport mode plus minus uh, but it also has an eco mode so for the other side uh, when it's not in sport mode um, it'll do eco. So with the plus minus transmission, or yeah, the plus minus automatic, um, it's nice, but sometimes it will deny you a shift. It'll just be like shift denied. I'm like, all right, car, I choose that, not you. Chill out. So being quote unquote base model, uh, it has all leather interior. Um, it has Bluetooth and navigation touchscreen. Uh, all which can be controlled from the uh, steering wheel, which I like a lot. Uh, your obvious heating, air conditioning, power windows, power seats. Uh, this version does not have heated seats or a sunroof, but those are options of this car, uh, which a sunroof would be great, uh, but obviously not necessary. And otherwise, the car is just really comfortable. Uh, I actually drove it for four hours today. Uh, heading down to ISU and uh, I didn't feel achy I didn't feel anything pretty much uh, it was a really nice really comfortable only thing that irritates me about the inside of this car is all right I'm gonna pull over oh say hey I want to make a right turn it is so loud like why is it's unnecessarily loud why this car is a grandparent you know the, the gender doesn't matter but this car is it just screams grandparent to me because it's like oh you know nice and comfortable like oh you're comfortable do you want this do you want that do you want this with all the buttons on the dashboard it gives you so many options just like your grandma gives you options for food. Oh, I could cook you this. I could cook you that. I could cook you. I could cook you a biscuit. You would. You would. Would you like that? It, but it's still classy. So, so I would say it's one of those like well-off grandparents, you know, that made their money in some forming company in the '70s. Your grandpa wears a gold watch. You know, white hair, very relaxed. You, Go to their house all the time. They fill you with food. You know, I say that also, like every single grandparent, I'm not kidding, I didn't plant these or anything. There's hard candy in, in the center console. There's hard candy. What grandparent doesn't have hard candy? Again with the blinker. Settle down! So overall for the drivetrain, that's engine, transmission, and you know, everything that goes along with that, I'd probably give it a solid seven out of 10. And here's why, it's sporty, it does have pickup, um, but the six speed transmission, the automatic, it'll downshift at weird times. And with the plus minus, it'll deny you a shift. Like if you're going up through the gears, it, it'll sometimes just be like, yeah, shift denied. Like what? Um, but yeah. So my interior uh, evaluation would have to be a nine out of 10. I mean, it has a really nice interior. It's very comfortable, it's spacious. The people in the back are not crammed at all. And you would think since it's a smaller SUV that they might be not cramped at all. I've fit five people in here before and it's like nothing. Um, 
So I think my overall score of the car would have to be an 8 out of 10 because it's very sporty. Like, I I accidentally did 100 miles an hour today in the car while my mom was in the car. She didn't notice. I didn't notice. I just looked down, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm doing 100. Um, so very spacious, very classy, very sporty. Um, the only thing is that the transmission is eh. And it's it would be hard to be choose between this and an Escalade. It's hard to justify a smaller SUV, although it does have a little bit more fuel efficiency. I know the Escalade does come now with options that give you better fuel efficiency. But yeah, overall, 8 out of 10. I really like this car. I mean, obviously no car is going to be a 10 out of 10, so it's right up there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this wasn't uh, in informational. Uh, if you have any questions about the 2013 Cadillac SRX or any general questions, comments, concerns, ideas, uh, shoot me an email, shootingcarsphotography at gmail.com. Um, if you want to check out my Instagram page, shooting underscore cars for almost daily uh, Instagram posts of my photography page. Um, if you want to check out any of my other personal accounts, my personal Instagram is just my name, Zach Pradle. That's Zach with a K, P-R-A-D-E-L. Uh, and then my personal YouTube account, ALZ Productions. I'll link that all below. So I want to thank you guys for watching again. Uh, there'll be more reviews and other videos up soon. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share it if you really like it. I'm out, guys. Thank you. So I love it, I love it, love it, I love it, love it, I love it. So I love it, I love it, love it, I love it. I never noticed it came with this little, little hook to keep the little thing on so it doesn't hit the paint. Huh.